Now let's move on to discuss the female reproductive system, including the ovaries and uterus, the mammary glands, and the menstrual cycle. This slide depicts the female reproductive tract in a sagittal view. The ovary is the site of egg production. At the entrance to the uterus is the cervix. Also in this region is the rectum, bladder, and pubic bone. The cervix is connected to the vagina as well as in the vicinity of the urethra. The external surface of the vagina include the labia minora, labia majora, the clitoris, and the mons pubis. The vagina is a muscular tube that extends from the vestibule to the cervix, a distance of approximately 8 to 9 centimeters. At the cervical end of the vagina, a shallow recess surrounds the fornix. The vagina functions in the following ways. Number one, it's a passageway for the elimination of menstrual fluid. Number two, during sexual intercourse, it receives a penis. And number three, it makes up the lower portion of the birth canal. The wall of the vagina is made up of a lumen lined with stratified squamous epithelium. It consists of a muscular layer with layers of circular and longitudinal bundles of muscle. The vagina opens into the vestibule which is surrounded by the labia minora. Anterior to the urethra is the clitoris which is aroused and stimulated during sexual intercourse. The labia minora and vestibular structures are surrounded and partially covered by the labia majora. Sebaceous glands secrete fluid onto the labia majora to keep them moist and provide lubrication. A major segment of the female reproductive tract are the ovaries and uterine tube. The uterine tube or fallopian tube extends from the uterus and is adjacent to the ovary. At the distal end is the infundibulum and the fimbrae. The fimbrae are where the expelled egg from the ovary is captured and taken up into the uterine tube. Similar to males, females undergo significant changes in their sexual characteristics during puberty. Females enter puberty between one and two years earlier than males, between the ages of nine and fourteen. The dominant hormone responsible for the development of secondary sex characteristics in females is estradiol, which is an estrogen. Secondary sex characteristics in females include the development of breasts, the growth of pubic hair, an increase in the size of the uterus and ovaries, and the onset of menstruation. The Anatomy of the Ovary the ovaries are paired organs that are approximately 5 cm by 2.5 cm in size. They are held in position through an ovarian ligament which extends from the lateral wall of the uterus to the ovary and the suspensor ligament which extends from the ovary to the pelvic wall. The blood supply to the ovary, the ovarian artery and vein, travel inside the suspensor ligament. Germinal epithelium covers each ovary and this overlies dense connective tissue known as the tunica albuginea. Inside the ovary is a cortex, which surrounds the medulla portion where the gametogenesis takes place. The female reproductive tract also includes the mammary glands. The mammary glands are contained in the breast, which is made up of a nipple surrounded by an areola. Connected to the nipple are ducts, which move into the breast tissue and are connected to the lobules. The breast itself overlies the pectoralis muscles and the chest wall. The mammary glands produce the milk for breastfeeding babies. The mammary gland is made up of alveoli, which are hollow cavities. Inside these hollow cavities, a lining of milk-secreting cuboidal cells exists. The alveoli form groups known as lobules, which join together and deliver milk to the nipple for breastfeeding. As females develop, estrogen promotes the formation of mammary glands. Lactation is the secretion of milk from the mammary glands. After the birth of the baby, progesterone levels drop and this triggers the onset of milk production. Prolactin from the anterior pituitary gland regulates lactation. 
the milk ejection reflex occurs during breastfeeding, and it's stimulated by the sucking of the infant. As the infant sucks in the nipple, the spinal nerves transmit impulses that eventually reach the hypothalamus. This stimulation of the hypothalamus leads to oxytocin release from its target, the pituitary gland. The following is a clinical note on breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most common type of non-skin cancer in women and represents approximately 10% of all cancers in women. Breast cancer is classified based on the containment of the tumor, the location of the tumor, and its hormone receptor status. Breast cancer symptoms include the presence of a lump on physical exam, an inverted nipple, breast swelling, pain, and or tenderness. Diagnosis is based on symptoms, physical exam, mammography, and biopsy results. The treatment of breast cancer includes the surgical removal of the breast tumors, sampling of axillary lymph nodes, radiation therapy, and or chemotherapy for systemic disease. For breast cancer that would be responsive to hormones, an anti-hormone receptor therapy can also be used.